Uh, Denialist Farmer Market and Placer Food Bank have teamed up to serve the community with a food distribution program. Indeed. Lori Wallace live in Roseville to learn more about their pantry to go. Yeah, this is really cool, guys. So this is the first location in Roseville, but this is the 10th that they have going on. This is the Placer Food Bank partnering with Denios. I'm going to step out of the way so you can see uh, how they have this all set up here. I have Dave Martinez here with me with the Placer Food Bank to talk a little bit about this distribution. I want to mention one more time because I think this is so important for viewers to know that this is not just for residents of Roseville. This is for anyone. So if you're watching at home right now, you can come on down and go through the line. That, that is correct. Uh, you know, we, we do these drive through distributions uh, as a matter of convenience during COVID. Uh, folks could drive through the line, pop the trunk, get the food delivered. It made things very simple and was, you know, less interaction. Um, but these, uh, these sites, especially the one here in Roseville, is open to anybody. So it doesn't matter if you're in Rockland, Sacramento, Citrus Heights, you know, if you're locally, you, you can come and pick up. Yeah, and it is very simple. You'll see the cars pulling up here. They just pop their trunks or open their door, and then the volunteers do the rest of the work. I wanted to kind of show you some of the things that they're giving out, um, everything from food to household items. Uh, Dave here is from Georgetown, so he is one of those that has been impacted um, from that winter storm that we had 12 days now uh, without power, right? That is correct. Um, and because we're a Feeding America food bank and we cover the three counties, you know, right now we're focusing a lot of our services, not only just Roseville, but in the Pollock Pines, Placerville area. So next week uh, we're looking at doing Placerville. Uh, hopefully if the snow is, re is removed, we'll get into Pollock Pines. We've been delivering to Colfax right now. But yeah, where I live at just above Georgetown, I'm on 12, day 12 with uh, the power not expected to be on until this Sunday. Yeah, and you've seen firsthand what I'm sure your neighbors and everybody else are dealing with and having ready to eat meals and stuff like this, things that you guys are handing out today are so important. They are. You know, when you look at any kind of disaster impact, you look at water, you look at ready to eat meals, which we provide, as well as uh, fresh produce that's uh, that can be eaten. And then, you know, when we're dealing with COVID, you know, there's uh, masks, you know, we have uh, hand wipes right now, you know, because again, what a lot of people don't realize when you live in a rural and you're on septic and you have no power, you know, you're, 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 your well pump doesn't run and your toilets don't work. Yeah. So it's 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 quite interesting. Yeah, and also we should mention there's no registration for this. You just pull up um, and, and you just show up. There, There's no questions asked. Pretty much, you know, all we really want to know is how many is in your household, how many children are we impacting, veterans, food stamps, any just basic information, but we don't need to know name, address, or anything like that. Okay, and these big trucks here, like you see in the parking lot, that's what they're rolling in here to get all this going, and you guys have plenty more, so you can service a lot of people. Yeah, we can, you know, because we have nine other distribution sites, we have some that get as high as uh, 300 families, and we've been prepared, and we've been doing this for now, going on a couple of years. It all started with COVID. Okay, it's so great what you guys are doing. We're going to link all of the information for the Placer Food Bank and uh, what they're doing out here to our website at GoodDaySacramento.com. A big shout out to all of you volunteers who are here in yeah. their rain gear helping out this morning because they're the ones that are doing all the hard work out here this morning, guys. I will send it back to you again. This is open to anyone. You don't have to live in Roseville to come out, and all of that information will be linked up to our website. That and they're even blowing awesome. bubbles. <laughs> They're even blowing bubbles out here. <laughs> I looked over. Where is that coming from? <laughs> All right, stuff. guys, back over to you. Thank you, Lori. Cody Appreciate didn't it. mention anything about bubbles in the forecast. Hey, if you know somebody doing good in the community, we want to know. Email us, goodday at kmaxtv.com.